Hello guys, welcome to another today's video. So today in this vlog, we are going to see 17 facts about Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth II was the Queen of the United Kingdom from 6 February 1952 until her death on 8th September 2022. Her reign of 70 years and 214 days was the longest of any British monarch and the second largest recorded of any monarch of a sovereign country. So let's see today in this by the help of this vlog, 17 facts about the Queen Elizabeth II. So the first fact is, as the Queen of the United Kingdom for 70 years, Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning British monarch in history, passing the record of 63 years and 7 months previously held by her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, in 2015. Prior to her death at age 96, she was the oldest monarch in the world and the longest reigning female monarch in the world history. This is the childhood photo of the Queen Elizabeth II. Next is Queen Elizabeth II was born on April 21, 1926. However, she actually celebrated her birthday twice a year, once in April and once on her official birthday in June, which is often marked with the trooping the color. Queen Elizabeth II's full name is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. She was named after her mom, Queen Elizabeth III, Queen Mother, as well as her father's grandmother, Queen Mary, and great-grandmother, Queen Alexandra. Then known as Princess Elizabeth, she was given the nickname Lilibet as a child. In fact, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle named their daughter Lilibet Lily, Diana, Mountbatten Windsor, after the Queen and the Duke of Sussex's mother, the late Princess Diana. When she was a ch child, the Queen gave her sister, Princess Margaret, and the nickname Bud. Queen Elizabeth II did not always live at a Buckingham Palace, her main residence, until the two years prior to her death when she moved to Windsor Castle amid the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the Royal Family's official website, she spent her early childhood years at the London House, 145 Piccadilly, and at White Lodge in Richmond Park. Her parents also had the Royal Lodge in Windsor Great Park as a country home. As a child, she stayed quite, stayed quite busy, according to the Royal Family's website, she studied art and music, learned to ride, joined the girls' guides at age 11, that is, advancing to sea rangers, and became a strong swimmer, winning the Children's Challenge Shield at London's Bath Club at the age of 13. Queen Elizabeth II gave her first public speech when she was 14 years old, addressing the children of the Commonwealth on 13 October 1940, amid World War II. Thousands of you in this country have had to leave your homes and be separated from your fathers and mothers, she shared in her speech for the children's hour broadcast. My sister Margaret Rose and I feel so much for you as we know from experience what it means to be away from those we love most of all. To you living in the new surroundings, we send a message of true sympathy and at the same time we would like to thank the kind people who have welcomed you to their homes in the country. She enrolled, enrolled in the Auxiliary Territorial Services ATS in 1945, making her the first female member of the royal family to join the armed services as a full-time active member. During her time in the ATS, Her Majesty learned how to drive and maintain vehicles. According to the National World War II Museum, she started as a second subaltern in the ATS and was, was later promoted to junior commander, the equivalent of captain. She also dedicated her life to serving the Commonwealth during a speech she gave on her 21st birthday, which said, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be a long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great empirical family, to which we all belong. She said in 1947, but I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me. As I now invite you to do, I know that your support will be unfallingly given God help me to make good my vow and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. Her family did not always expect her to take the throne. When she was born, Elizabeth was third in the line of succession after her uncle Edward, Prince of Wales, and her father, Princess Albert, Duke of York. After her grandmother, grandfather, King George, we died in 1936, Edward, Prince of Wales, was crowned King Edward Will, but by the end of that year, he had abdicated the throne the married to Wallis Simpson.
her father then acceded the throne as a king george 6 taking his father's name and when he died on 6 feb 1952 queen elizabeth 2 began her reign after her father became king elizabeth prepared for f- her future role by studying constitutional history and law receiving lessons on religion from the archbishop of canterbury and learning french taking place at westminster abbey on june 1953 queen elizabeth ii's coronation was the first coronation to be televised and during the ceremony saint edward's crown was placed upon her majesty's head the crown which is made of solid gold and crusted with 440 precious and semi precious stones weighs 4 pounds and 12 ounces thankfully this is the only time she has had to wear it Queen Elizabeth II is the sixth queen to be crowned as a Westminster Abbey and Queen Mary I was the first. She is also the 40th monarch to take the throne since William the Conqueror became the King of England in 1066. For the first official engagement as queen, Her Majesty attended the Royal Mounted Services at Westminster Abbey in the month of April 1952. The queen first met her husband Prince Philip when she was 8 years old and he was 13. They crossed paths at the wedding of Princess Mary of Greece and Denmark to Prince George Duke of Kent in 1934 and then again in 1939 when she was 13 and he was 18 at Dartmouth Naval College. 7 years later Prince Philip proposed with a ring by Philip Enterprises Limited that featured diamonds from his mother Princess Alice of Battenger's tiara according to the jeweler the ring features a magnificent 3 carat round brilliant diamond set in platinum and flanked by a smaller pave set diamonds elizabeth elizabeth dads asked them to keep their engagement under wraps until after she turned 21 the official announcement coming on 9th july 1947 queen elizabeth ii wed prince philip at westminster away on 20th november 1947 Like many brides who tied the knot shortly after World War II, she used clothing ration cups to pay for her dress, which was designed by Norman Hattonell and made of ivory silk. It also featured crystals, ten thousand seed pearls, and a fifteen-foot silk tulip cord train. But there could have been a fashion fox pass on her wedding day. Queen Elizabeth II wore Queen Mary's fringed tiara, but according to the royal family's website, the frame of the gem broke as the bride was putting. it on and it had to be quickly repaired before his death in 19th in april 2021 prince philip was married to queen elizabeth ii for 73 years making them the longest married couple in the royal's family history he is someone who does not take easily to compliments the queen said during a 1997 speech he has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years and i his whole family and this and many other countries Oh him a debt greater than he would ever claim or we shall ever know It was Queen Elizabeth II and the Prince Philip who decided to give their descendants different last names than the rest of the royal family while her grandfather King George V adopted the Windsor as the family surname in 1917 the couple chose in 1962 also incorporate the Duke of Edinburgh last name Mountbatten and have their descendants carry the last name Mountbatten Windsor and yes She is survived by a quite a big crew of Mountbatten Windsors. In addition to the four children, she welcomed with Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Prince Anne's, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. The Queen has eight grandchildren and twelve grandchildrens. Her Majesty was the monarch to fourteen countries. In in addition to the UK, she was also head of Commonwealth, which consists of fifty-four countries. But These were not her only roles she also had the titles of head of state head of nation head of armed forces sovereign of the garter and the defender of the faith and the supreme governor of the church of england among others as head of the state her majesty had to stay neutral on political matters therefore she did not vote or stand for election although as the royal family's website explains the monarch did have ceremonial and formal roles relating to the uk government like opening new sessions of parliament approving orders and proclamations through the privy council she could also appoint a prime minister and meet with him or her regularly in may 2021 the queen opened parliament for the 667th time having opened it every year for her reign except 1959 and 1963 and 
2022 due to a Buckingham Palace put it episodic mobility problems. Audiences or one-on-one -on -one meetings were part of Her Majesty's jobs, according to the royal family's website. There are not more than there are more than 170 ambassadors and high commissioner in London at any given time, and the monarch will have an audience with each one shortly after the individual has assumed the role. She also had a weekly audience with the Prime Minister in which they discuss government matters. By 2016, the Queen had held more than 660 institutes. Her Majesty had more than 600 patronages and her reign was not completely without criticism. After Princess Diana's death in 1997, for instance, Her Majesty faced public criticism for initially staying at her Balmoral Castle in Scotland instead of returning to London and for originally not flying the British flag at half-mast, which did not happen until the day of Diana's funeral. The monarch later addressed the Princess of Wales' death in a television televised statement. The Queen visited 117 countries during her reign and for those counting that's the 103 to 513 miles. She did not get her wings until 1945, though taking flight for the first time as she headed from Northall to Northern Ireland in 1945. She also made more than 200 visits to Commonwealth countries and her first visit to the Commonwealth was in the month of November 1953 and she stayed for 6 months during this time she visited 12th country which adds up to 43,618 miles. 17 years later while touring Australia she made for the first time walk about a casual stroll among commoners that's become somewhat of a family staple. She christened the Victoria Lines in 1969, making her the first resigning monarch to travel on the public transit system, the London Underground, she had just like us. Surprisingly, Her Majesty did not have a passport. Since British passports are issued in the name of the Queen, she did not need one. Her family members, however, do. And according to the BBC News, she was the only person in Britain who was allowed to drive without a driver's license. In 1957, she had her her very first Christmas broadcast, a tradition that lives on 60 plus years later and if you are lucky, you may have been one of the 750 people a year who received a holiday card from the Queen who usually spent Christmas and New Year at Sandringham House. She also gave up puddings to employers, employees who worked at the palace's court post office and within the palace police that distributing about 1500 every year. You have got mail in, in 1976, Queen Elizabeth II became the first monarch to send an email which was sent during a network technology demonstration at the Royal Signals and the Radar Establishment. Almost 40 years later, she posted her first personal tweet which was read as, It is a pleasure to open the Information Age exhibition today at the Science Museum and I hope people will enjoy visiting Elizabeth R. It's clear the Science Museum had a special, held a special palace in her heart as it's also where the monarch had made her first Instagram post, which says, Today I had the pleasure of learning about children's computer coding initiatives and it seems fitting to me that I published this Instagram post at the Science Museum. She wrote in 2019 while sharing an archived photo of her great-great-grandfather, which was has a long championed technology innovation and inspired the next generation of inventors, Elizabeth R. For those wondering, the R in Elizabeth R stands for Regina, which is a Latin for Queen. At this point, you likely think of the Queen and think of her gorgeous. As it turns out, when she was 18, she received her first pup named Susan. And since then, all her gorgeous have been descendants of her. How many descendants exactly? Her Majesty owned at least 13 corges and a number of dorges, a cross between Dachshund and Corgis. She technically owned a lot of swans too, according to the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, an unmarked mute swan on the river, Thames is regarded as the belonging to the Queen by default. Plus, she received many animals as official gifts including two pygmy hippopotami from President Tubman of Liberia, a sloth of, and two black jaguars from the Prefect of Brasilia, and an African forest elephant from President Ahidijo of Cameroon, all of which were sent to the Jessel L. London Zoo, with the elephant later relocating to the rural zoo at the Bipsnaid. And last but not least, she loved horses, receiving her first pony, 
Peggy and age 4 over the years she owned and bred a number of thoroughbreds with her horses winning a quite a few races in 2013 for instance her horse estimate won the royal ascot's gold cup making it fit for the first time in history a reigning monarch to come for the trophy the queen loved photography and snapping pictures of her family it was maybe her hobby and she also enjoyed scottish country dancing and will host gillies bells during her stays at her holiday home Balmoral Castle in Scotland. If you ever wondered, yes, the Queen was on the shorter side, coming in at five foot four, according to the BBC. Over the years, the Queen was served by fifteen British Prime Minister. The first being Winston Churchill, and the most recent Liz Truss, who was appointed by the Queen days before Her Majesty's passing. She also met thirteen out of the last fourteen U.S. presidents, the exceptions being. Lyndon Johnson's and what's the more she was the first British monarch to address the US Congress which she did in 1991 from the start of her reign to 2016 the queen received more than 3.75 million items of correspondence she also sent more than 230000 messages to anyone in the UK its overseas realms and territories included who were 100 or older she had her own personal flag adopted in, in the year 1960 and which is blue with a gold design featuring the, her initial E with the royal crown and encircled in roses. You could see it flying on the buildings, ships, cars and or aircrafts she occupied. Each year the queen welcomed more than 30,000 guests to garden parties held at Buckingham Palace and the Palace of Holyrood House. One of her favorite flowers was the lily of the valley which was featured in her coronation bucket. Queen Elizabeth II appears on the coinage of at least 35 different countries. She was also the first member of the royal family to receive a gold disc from the recording industry. That's all thanks to the recording of her 2002 Golden Jubilee concert titled Party at the Palace with 1 lakh copies selling out within the first week of its release. And she was a totally normal, relatable grandmother. Well, at least according to the Prince Harry, she was a very funny, but I think she gets it from my grandmother. He said during a 2012 interview with The Telegraph, later adding, my family is the same as any other family when it comes to the humor behind closed doors, though I had liked to think I was funer, funnier than the, my grandmother. Queen Elizabeth II died peacefully at Balmoral September on 8th September 2022. So that was the last fact about the Queen Elizabeth II till the story of the present video that we have shared with the help of this video. So friends, I hope you like this informative videos as you will know all the 17 facts about the Queen Elizabeth II in this vlog. If you are new viewer on my channel, please do subscribe and like share the video with the others so that you will get all the important and legal updates, informations from time to time. Thanks for watching.